Inch and a quarter on this side. Inch and a quarter? Yep. Alright. Seven eighths on this one. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're not gonna believe this, Rob. All right, no. Perfectly Love level. Dead nuts for this one. Quick, screw everything together. Don't, don't breathe. What? Is it level across the back? Uh. Yeah, that's perfectly level everywhere. Get, get a drill. <laughs> Everything's perfect somehow. Everything is awesome. Get two screws in there. Everything is cool when you're part of our team. And you didn't cut those. No, I was about to. It's a Christmas miracle. Uh, here, screw that in place. <laughs> Before it decides to not be a miracle anymore. That's me. What was it? you. So we decided not to tie the stringers into the brick or the walls of the building at any point. The only places where it's connected are at that header at the top of the stairs and the steel cleat that we bolted into the slab. And the reason for that is that we felt that any movement over time that the stairwell did have would just slowly cause damage to the brick and mortar. These stringers actually don't touch the walls at any point along the way.
right. So now we've got a quarter inch of overhang that we need to cut off. But our risers now fit tight ish. Thank you. 
Okay, well we have the stairs functional now, although there's just a temporary handrail. Eventually we're gonna build a nice wrought iron handrail, but it's gonna take us a little while to get to that. And we've got the bathroom roughed in. There's plumbing and electrical and a toilet flange. We gotta finish the sheetrock and float it. Anyway, this being the first wooden staircase that we've ever built, I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button.